Okay, so here's our elevator. I don't have these wired yet, but I have uh, eight segment here, here, and here, along with a push button to bring the elevator there. This floor is the red floor. Um, also, it's got the LCD screen, so this is gonna be the penthouse. These two are just for the normal. You also notice the penthouse has, you know, more room there. Um, clearly, that's not the way to design it, but that's the way it, that's the way we're gonna sell it as to the professor. So anyway, I'm just gonna push down on it since I don't have it wired up yet, although it works just wonderful. But you can see it's a clear elevator, like the Willy Wonka one. So there you go. There, that's at the uh, second floor. And then when it raises one more, we are now fully at the penthouse floor. And hence why it's a see-through elevator, since the penthouse, they get to get a little glorious view of whatever. Uh, these two don't get a view at all. There's the uh, segment display here. And over here we have the micro switch, so that needs to be connected. On top we have the drive motor. Now this motor right here is actually the drive motor. This is just being used as a pulley system. It needs more tension around the main drive um, actuator. Then this is getting pulled straight down to the counterweight here and this is just sliding up and down. But I need weight here so the motor doesn't have to work as hard and it'll be more efficient. This is keeping these two at a specific distance so we'll need to make this look a bit nicer. But for now it works just fine. Um, in the back end here we have the uh, display driver, the power for this. Uh, for the sensors, this is the speaker right here. So this will beep when the elevator gets there. When the sensor reaches the penthouse floor, this mass will hit this. So that's, you hear that click, that's when it's gonna know it's uh, at the very top. Um, alternatively, when the elevator is on the first floor, this micro switch here uh, will be set and this will go off. Well, this will activate. And then uh, the third switch is actually located uh, right in the center here and I'm endeavoring to get a good clear view and it's not completely set up yet but the idea is when the elevator hits a certain mark and I haven't designated that mark yet where it's going to place it will then uh, activate the sensor it'll bump and activate it, and then they'll say okay now I'm at the second floor so that's the challenge um, that we have uh, with this uh, project for capstone um, clearly gonna make it look a bit better when we're done um, as far as the seven segment display the nice thing about uh, these displays is that they're all gonna display the exact same information so I can have them running in parallel and so I need only wire them once in the Arduino um, that'll be you know just just uh, anytime I can get something easier I'm gonna take it the soldering isn't gonna be too bad and I, I'm going to have one of my um, partners do that. Uh, it's not going to be difficult, but it's going to be a little tedious. I mean, it's 10 wires to 10 wires and then solder from here again to here and then from here to back to Arduino, which isn't there yet. So that's something that we have to um, discuss how we want to run that. We don't want to make it look like uh, crap because we get some points docked off. But anyway, this is currently what's here. Um, if you want to see quickly, the first edition <laughs> was actually here, and um, initially there was a initially there was a um, a much better looking box. This was a <clears throat> about the third edition. Um, this these rails are made of really soft aluminum, and anything dragging against this would immediately uh, start breaking this material, and and I would see. Um, aluminum dust so it has huge issues with friction um, if you take a look behind here how this was supposed to work rather than having a drive motor on top uh, with a belt pulling up and down this one actually had the motor already installed within the back of this and then these were the voltage rails right here and if you can see um, just like the old uh, cheap um, trains that kids would buy or children would have this would ride up along the rails and uh, this would power it up so this was the original well, hello you want to say hi 
Oliver, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Okay. Uh, anywho, and um, I can try and take this apart. Pull this off so you can get a better idea. Um, yeah, if this would have worked well, I would have been very happy. Um, since I spent more time on this than on the other one. But, you know, it's a learning curve, certainly. And let me pull this up here. So if we take a look here, uh, this was the two, this is the power rails right here, and they were reverse direction for this to go up and down, and uh, this was taken from an old scanner head uh, assembly, hence it was, you know, pretty much already made, and it ran very well for the most part, um, but here's the gears. One nice thing about this design, unlike the other um, design that we have, is because the um, motor is perpendicular to the gears, uh, it can't roll up and down because this corkscrew right here prevents it. So if it tries to go up and down, you can see it just hits that corkscrew and it's trying to push this back and forth, which obviously the motor's not gonna do. Uh, for completeness, here's the actual rail. So this was the rail here that it would climb up the teeth and then uh, the voltage rails here and then um, this is just a dampener spring when it hit the bottom. Uh, this actually was from uh, Pentium uh, Pentium uh, 4 hyper threading. This was just the um, uh, part of the CPU heatsink. Uh, these were from Home Depot. And in fact, I need to take this off. You can see back here that I had kind of pre drilled and installed uh, my. Um, relays but I have to uh, take these off and uh, put them for my other project since obviously this is decommissioned but at any rate that's the old one and um, put that together and this is a new one so it certainly looks better um, I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to post otherwise have a good one